let's be honest, the pandemic has hit us hard. All over the world, people have lost their closest friends, their jobs, their hopes. But you know what? We want to tell you a beautiful story of a group of people who didn't stop dreaming. We're in Copacabana by the Lake Titicaca, where back in 2005, Martin and his wife Katy began Las Olas. This is the story of him and his team who found the strength to keep on building. I'm a sculptor, Katy uh, is an artist too, so we have always talks and we have always like a very close to connection to what we are doing. Um, yeah, I, I started 17 or 16 years ago here building with a workman and the nice thing is it's the same workman throughout all this time. The longer we work together, the better we got as a group and as a friendship and as a family and as a, as a working experience. It's just so nice to work together with these guys. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very amable. My maestro is like my papa. Un abrazo. They so much love it and they're so flexible and they're so connected to what we do. And I think all four of us learn so much from each other. I learned so many techniques of them. They learned probably so much about shape and harmony and, and, and techniques probably also um, of me. So it's, it's the perfect connection. I always say um, these guys were my luck and probably in some ways I'm uh, a very good aspect in their lives also, I reckon. The main guys that work with us uh, is Mario, Marcelino and Freddy. They are the ones that have done all the buildings. Julio is a very good carpenter, helps us along the way whenever we need him and there are some other people that, that do that too and the guys are so flexible and they're so open and they're so hard working. They have such an enormous stamina, I think you say. You can put them for hours onto something and they will just carry on. And on the other side, they're very rhythmical because I think in, in Europe we are always a bit stressed. <laughs> and these guys, they work for two hours and, and it, it just flows and it just goes. And then they have their coke break for 20 minutes and you chat and you laugh and you have a good time. And then they go again like, like, a, like a Swiss machine. I'm conscious of my work and I'm inspired because if you're thinking that it's not going to be okay, it's not going to be okay. When you're conscious and inspired, Te arreglas así bien, te sale, ¿no? Entonces ahí estoy siempre bien concentrado en mi trabajo así. Pero eso es muy lindo para mí, porque cada vez que veo avanzando y más, más, más ganas te da de seguir avanzando así. Me gusta trabajar con él, es muy lindo. Tal, he aprendido muchas cosas de él más que todo, ¿no? Y estoy feliz. El trabajo que cada cual hacemos sea mejor, de la mejor manera posible que hagamos. Y también tener nuevas ideas, digamos, digamos, mejorar algo que, una idea que pone, mejorando eso, o así, sugiriéndonos entre nosotros, entre todos los compañeros que trabajamos aquí. Cuando trabajamos estamos alegres, pues, bien alegres trabajamos. Siempre con esa coquita, trabajamos ya. Siempre a la hora, a la hora también nos salimos así. Y alegre, sí, bien alegre trabajamos. Riendo, a veces bromeando, así. A veces también callado, también nos quedamos en trabajo. A veces también comenzamos a hablar, a bromearnos también. Así. Es muy bonito el trabajo. Generally, we start with a rough idea, the buildings. Uh, every building has turned out different and has a different theme and has a different idea behind it. So that is really nice and a lot of it develops when, when while we are doing it have really a fixed plan or a very elaborate plan before starting. It develops on the ground, it develops on a little piece of paper or in the mind, in the heart. Kati made these beautiful little books and 
she said, draw, draw, get your ideas for what you want to do and draw. Uh, I don't have it here. <laughs> <laughs> the problems we have make it creative. The problems we get, and I think it's the same thing in life, it's exactly the same thing in life. When you have problems, when you have hard time, that's the moment you get creative, and that's the moment you grow, and that's the moment you expand your vision on things, and that's the moment when you, when you really can achieve something, something bigger. We sculpt our roofs, when we do our benches, tables, when we do our floors, it all feels like a sculpture. Siempre le alaba las olas, que llegue mucha turista, que venga mucho a alojarse, es una maravilla lo que estamos trabajando aquí, usted ya ha visto, es un arte especial. Es un lugar muy tranquilo y se ven muy buenos paisajes que tenemos más que todo aquí en la Botificaca. In spite of all those really hard aspects of pandemic, uh, we have we lost friends, we lost part of family, there were so many bad things. But on the other side I found it and I had this really, really, really big luck to be able to be creative. So if if for some reason one can be creative uh, throughout a time like that, it is so rewarding and it helps so much to, to get along with those difficult times really.